Hey guys, my name is Jason with Mount Baker Mining and Metals. Welcome back to another installment of us rehabbing our gold mine. In today's video, here behind me, you're looking up about a 55 degree raise. So we gotta get this thing tempered up so we can get up about 40 feet to the stope. And once we get to the stope, then we can rehab the stope along the track and get back to our vein and start mining some gold. We are over 600 feet underground. And we have rehabbed our workings all the way to this point. We've got to go up about 30 or 40 feet. You, you just can't quite see it. But right up there about 35, 40 feet on the left, there's a little transfer way that goes over to the stove. And our job today is to get this thing timbered up, get all this old airline and water line out of here make it so we can access the stope from our lower haulage way here. But first, I've run out of wood. I've done so much timbering in the mine that I've run out of wood and we've got that huge raise I got to timber up. And so we're down here on my property. I'm going to go log off some more logs, bring them up to Fred the sawmill guy. We're going to cut them into two by fours, four by fours, and some more lagging, and then we'll get that raise timbered up. And if you guys are really interested in this logging stuff, I have another channel. It's called S&J Forest Products. I'll leave a link in the description below so you guys can check that out if you're interested. Well, I'm out here. I've chosen some victims for today. So the first one we're going to take is this one right here. This big tall. It's dead all the way to the top. There's no green on it at all. We lucked out because all the branches are on the side. I'm going to drop it. I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to try and drop it right over here by that leaning birch right there. There's a few seedlings out there but I think I can miss them there's a pretty good stump right over here and a stump right over there so I got to put it right down that site right there let's see if I can do it this patch behind me is pretty much all spruce I really really like working with spruce up at the mine for a couple different reasons one is really really light it's one of the lightest woods it is also very very strong it's one of the strongest wood to weight ratios out there that's why they built the spruce goose out of spruce for those two reasons it makes it really easy to work with underground the third one is uh as i've been working with it i can take you know half an inch or, or three quarters of an inch from the end of a two by four i can screw a screw right in there and it doesn't split it's got this interwoven kind of fiber into it so it's really really strong it doesn't split it's really really light it's easy to work with and i have a bunch of it and a lot of the stuff here behind me is dying. It's either dying or dead. And I think a lot of these spruce have died because of the drought. We're in a pretty bad drought right now. They're fairly wet, uh, tolerant plants. They really want to be in that moist, wet Pacific Northwest environment. And it's just been so darn dry right now that I think it's killing all the spruce and the cedars going the same way. And because we're ecological green miners and loggers, I'm going to take out some of these dead trees and cut them up for wood. I could leave them as habitat trees, but I need wood and they're dead anyway. So we're going to take them. Well, it's on the ground. <clears throat> it was a little bit hung up in the branches of this other one here, but it took a little roll off the stump on its way down. Wasn't a lot of holding wood left. There's that hanging birch, leaning birch. I got it right between the stumps, pretty much where I wanted it. It's a beautiful tree. Too bad it's dead. So here's our butt log. It's 33 feet long. You leave a little bit of what's called trim on the end for the mill. So when I cut it into two 16s, I'll have 16 and a half. And then when I cut them into eights, I'll have eight and a quarter roughly. So you always cut about a foot longer than you need on a long log. Now let's go buck the other half of this, get another 33. And I might get a little bit out of the top, but it's pretty naughty. Well, I got three logs out of it, all 33 feet long. So that's hundred feet of worth of logs and then there's another 28 feet on top so the tree was 128 feet tall all together and i just counted the rings it was 129 years old so it had grown a foot a year planted probably right around 1895 and 2003 
was the year of its downfall, which is too bad. It was a beautiful tree, but now it's going to hold up the world underground. So now I got to drag it out of here, get it up to Fred's. This is my little John Deere 440A skitter. About a 1972 vintage, and it's got three chokers on it. So I can hook the chokers up to the logs and drag them out to the landing. Fantastic little machine, exactly what I need for this kind of stuff. We're all loaded up here. We're getting ready to go. Get the strap down and up to Fred's. All right, Fred, what's your first uh, first thoughts on the log? I am impressed. Yeah, they're good, huh? Very good. Who did this? That's an excavator operator problem. Hmm. Yeah, they're pretty old. Look at that. I counted that one was 129 years old. There you go. True two by eights, and then one and a half by three and a half two by fours. All right, put them on the mill. We're about to cut into this log. It's got a 17 inch top on it and it's 16 feet long. So I'll figure out how many board feet are supposed to be in it. Put it on the screen there for you and then we'll calculate how much we actually got out of this log when we're done. Our final tally here is we got eight true dimension two by eights, two true dimension two by sevens, and one true dimension one by eight. So I'll get all the math figured out, put it up on the screen, and we can compare scaling versus what we actually cut. And then here's our waste. You got the four flitches, a couple other little pieces. That'll all go to heat Fred's home in the winter. But that's a little bit of waste we got out of that one log. Here's our big boy up on the sawmill. This is that butt log we're on our last log of the day we've got the truck loaded full I've got stacks of 16 foot long, one by all over. And that last big log, we're gonna cut a bunch of six by six timbers out of it. Our plan is to wedge four by four stoles across the ribs, right against the bottom of the raise, about every two to four feet. You can just work them up, up the raise that way, just across like that. And once you get up there, 
you can come back and we're gonna run a ladder up this side and then we're gonna make a little chute over here so we can slide materials, lumber, bags of ore, tools, whatever we need up that side. And this is gonna be one of the main accesses for our stove to the haulage way. First thing we gotta do is get all our wood back here and a 600 foot walk crouch down half the way with a bunch of 4 by 4s It's going to take a lot, of, a lot of trips to get all the wood back here. Well, we got everything we need. We got our wood. We got our tools. The walking saw is all in circular saw. It's over here scaling down our work area so we can be in there safely. And we got this slick little sawhorse set up so we won't, don't have to be cutting in the mud. That works slick. Now we're going to need a point on one end. So like 45, actually I'll show you the hitch. So here's the one hitch. Okay. That'll just be flat on this side. Okay. And then over here, we're gonna grab it right in this notch. Okay. And so it's it's a pretty steep thing, but I, I can take it and I can okay. see what we're doing, and I can I can take it and wedge it in here okay. and wedge this side because all the weight's gonna be pushing this way up the raise, right? Okay. I first I had it in here and I was like, oh that's all that weight's gonna be pushing it out. We wanna push it against the hitch and then wedge it in there. Okay, so it's going to be 90 this way, but you want me to cut not like a 30 degree off of this bottom part? Well, cut it, cut it kind of like a point. Okay. So, so maybe like a one inch space on the point, okay. and then 45 one side and 45 the other side, and that should be able to get us in there. Opposite of a bird mouth. Got it. All right, so we can put that thing in. Way better. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, Harry, ready? Ready? 57 plus the tape. 59 and 3 eighths. 59 and 3 eighths. 90? Uh, yeah, to start.
We found that logistics here is becoming a little bit of an issue now that we're back six or eight hundred feet and up the rays. So we're trying to come up with creative and more efficient ideas on how to get stuff back. And we got this whole pile of wood that's all got to go. That's just a small portion of it. So we're trying to lash to the wheelbarrow and one guy pull and one guy kind of push and stabilize the back. It's our first beta test. We'll see how this goes. But here's more wood. We got wood here. We got wood here. We got that pile of wood. It's all got to go back 600 feet and then up the rays. So logistics is a big deal. I'll grab my bag. Normally this would have taken us four trips. One person can carry one true two by eight all the way back. So two guys doing four, this will save two trips. Hopefully, that's our plan. Using wheels. Yeah, I almost could push it. It's almost easier for me. Yeah, maybe Harry Spears and you. Yeah. Hey, Matt, I'll let you figure out the angle. How does it fall? Okay. Hey, I'm going to jump steering. That's working. It's working. It's working better than carrying them. See how this first corner goes. It got a tough to do slow sections anyway, so this works. Nice, I think that'll work. Works better. Still some improvement to be made, but I think we can make that make that work and make it better. How many ladders do we have? Five? Yeah, that's number five right there. Five. So we're adding rungs to our fourth ladder. I've got our fifth one here. And then my light's kind of going dead on me, so I don't know what you'll be able to see here, but Got some old ladders, and then right where those hoses go up and around is where we're going to. So we only have maybe four or five more ladders to go, and then we'll be there. And our lights are dying. <laughs> Chad's lights flicker. Yeah, we've been here a while. Yeah. <laughs> we got our ladders in, we've set these four by fours up as vertical so we can separate the ladder from the chute. So now we're taking these big 2x10s and 2x12s and we're making our chute. So we'll see how this goes. It's going to get a little tricky when we come up around this corner, but we'll make it work somehow. Cut it until it fits, I guess. Working on our shoot, all these angles are really giving us a workout, a brain workout. 
The man way and shoot is coming along here. We're up, I don't know, probably halfway. I've got some more stoles to set. Chad and Harry working down there. I've set my stoles up here. I'm sitting on this one. And we are at the transfer way. Every time you come up, it keeps getting longer and longer. I know, never ending, right? Never ending. We're getting real close. Right, Chad's up here with me. We're at the top of our ladders right now, and then we can look right down the transfer way here. So we are very close. I need to set another stall or two, kind of right where Chad's hand is. Probably one up past it, and then we need to build a little deck right in here so we can have some lids that flop down so you don't have an open hole. Need to work on getting our chute up here, and then we can continue down the haulage way. Progress, progress. Yes, sir. Chad's doing runs and spacers. Got a couple stalls set. We're going to put a little door to our chute right here. A little lid for our ladder over here. And then you can walk right up and put bags down the chute. Hopefully. Bags of ore. You got a dangle? We got a dangle. We could cut and then make it flat. Or uh, just uh Oh I see your time out. Well, maybe maybe we don't rest it on the two by four and just rest on two four by fours. Yeah. There, how's that? That works. And then our lid will be totally separate. Okay. Let's see. Is that? Can we bring it over there more? Towards me. Well, I think see over over if here. If I take the notch off, I can back it more this way. Yeah. Why don't we do that? Because I'd like it. I'd like the wood to come almost in contact with the the floor over here by the... Our first decking board going in. Nice. We're just putting our finishing touches on the rays here. We've put one by tens or so up the side to protect the manway from the chute side. And we've got our last little section here before the top of the rays and the platform. So two more boards and the rays and chute is complete. Here's a quick look at the platform at the top of the rays. We've got a little door here. Goes down to the chute. So we can drop bags down there. A little pulley if you want to pulley stuff up. Looking down the ladder. Got our ladder coming all the way up to the rays. We've put a lid over our head so nothing can come down and knock us. I'll give you a final walkthrough from the bottom to the top. This was the big, big job. Here's the bottom of the rays. Shoot on the left, ladder on the right. We've got it separated with one buys. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna climb the rays all the way to the top so you guys can get a full top to bottom view. There's a total of 52 steps, spaced uh, 12 inches apart. So we have 52 linear feet of ladder. And I believe at about 45 degrees, that's about 35 or 40 vertical feet of elevation. There's our chute and our wall keeping it separate. There's our platform. Come right up the ladder here. 
set that on our platform and we're good to go. Well, thanks everyone for watching our video of us building our rays in my new gold mine. This was the biggest project yet. It took us a little over four days, I think, all together to finish it. And I really appreciate you guys watching. We're working our way to the stope to start mining. So we're gonna be there soon. So stay tuned for all those videos coming up. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.